When Barbie met Sephora kids. Cheese. Thank you for taking a photo with me. Barbie, Barbie. She, guys, come on. My sister has Barbie at this party. Barbie, do you have a Stanley cup? Oh, um. I said a Stanley cup. I heard you. I was just wondering who was Stanley and why are we taking his cups? <laughs> um, okay, do you have, do you have drunk elephant? Oh no, I take really good care of my animals. I only give them water. Sometimes pink lemonade if they're being really good or it's a special holiday. Well, you should get some because it'll help get rid of those wrinkles. <laughs> we use it and that's why we look like actual dolls. You know what? You girls do remind me of a doll. <laughs> Which one? Rats. I've been seeing these Sephora kids all over my FYP, and I don't go to Sephora a lot, so I haven't seen it in person for myself, but I do go to kids' birthday parties a lot, and I met Sephora kids for the first time. And it was something. <laughs> it was something. Also, I have nothing against Brad's dolls, they just had the name in common. What if I was playing Snow White and an animal didn't like me? Welcome back to What If, the series that I haven't done in like five months, um, where you ask me about things that have never happened to me at a party before, and I tell you what I do. Hello, everyone! <laughs> Snow White, I thought you were friends with all animals. Oh, of course, all animals love me. <laughs> but he sounds really angry. <coughs> oh no, he's trying to tell me something. <coughs> uh-huh. <coughs> oh, so what is he saying? He's trying to warn me that there are apples at this party and he's very concerned about my safety. Oh. <laughs> See? He loves me. Then why does he look kind of depressed? That's because he knows I'm leaving soon. Right, buddy? Right. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, little guy. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> when Men Can't Take a Hint, Part 3. Okay, to set the scene, in my apartment building, there is a staircase at one end of the hallway, and then there is an elevator at the other end, and then you turn the corner past the elevator to get to my apartment. You going down? Oh, no thank you. I don't need it. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yes, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, you still sure? Yes, I live on this floor. I don't need the elevator. Thank you. You know what? I was just trying to be nice, trying to help the princess ride the elevator. But now I know why Elsa's all alone in the movie. You're missing out. <laughs> You're lucky I don't really have ice powers. Okay. okay, I'm all for being nice and like, yeah, he was nice at first trying to hold the elevator for me. But after a while, if someone tells you they're sure they don't need the elevator, they're not going to just randomly change your mind. Like, what did you think I was going to do? Be like, oh, you know what? I do want to stay in my Elsa costume and ride into the sunset on the elevator with you. Like, no. When kids ask me to sing inappropriate songs, part eight. Hey, Shelly. Hey, birthday girl. Can you sing the best friend song? Hmm, which best friend song? We sing a lot of them under the sea. <laughs> oh yeah, it goes, that my best friend, she a real bad bitch. Fish. What? Uh, that's how we sing it in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that my best friend, she a real great fish, got her own pearl. She don't need no prince on the dance floor. She did two, three flips, now she's crowd surfing like the tai chi comes back in. Whoa, what's the ocean version of boss bitch? Fish, <laughs> remember it's fish. Right, boss fish. <laughs> I'm a fish, I'm a boss. I'm a fish, I'm a boss, my skill shine like gloss. When the kids thought Olaf blew up. Elsa, what do you do on Thanksgiving? Thank you for asking. Well, my sister, Sven, Kristoff, Olaf, Bruni and I all like to get together and watch the parade. Whoa, that sounds so fun. It is. Sometimes there's even a big balloon of Olaf, which he really likes to see. Hmm, how do they turn Olaf into a balloon? That's a great question. Um, they blow all of the balloons up to make them real big. What? What, what's wrong? They explode Olaf? <laughs> Why would they do that? No, 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 no. They blow the balloon of Olaf up. Just how a regular balloon gets inflated. Oh. It's a good thing you weren't around for that Barney incident. What happened to Barney? Nothing. 
Happy Thanksgiving to all of you who celebrate. I am so thankful for all of you and I'm wishing you the best day. Asking cast members of The Little Mermaid to shake my hand in character. Shake my hand in character. Hello, Aquata! <laughs> Hi! Good afternoon. You're welcome. You're my third favorite daughter. <sighs> Didn't see you there. Oh. <laughs> Getting your strength back, dearie. <gasps> oh. Funny things kids have said to me while party princessing, part seven. Friend, are you okay? No, the sun's in my face. Oh, well then let's turn around and we can face the other way so it's not in your eyes. Can't you just move it? Move what? <laughs> move the sun. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't move the sun. Yeah, you can. You can just use your powers. Oh, okay, yes. Now I see how you would think that. But um, I talked to the ruler of your kingdom and they told me if I came today that I couldn't use my powers. I'm so sorry. Whatever, I'm just gonna go tell my mom. She can move it for me. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I'd love to see how that's gonna work. The time there was a fire and I was Sleeping Beauty. The fire alarm's going off in the building and I'm just like Sleeping Beauty and I'm scared. Hello. Um, excuse me, do you know how long these normally last? Oh, I don't know, maybe an hour, I just, I thought I should put on a bra today because I thought, what if we have a fire drill, but I didn't put on a bra, and now we're here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm dressed as Sleeping Beauty right now, so I get it. <laughs> oh, did you do an early thing for Halloween? Oh no, I'm a party princess, so I just got back from a child's birthday party. Yeah, I had to take like off a wig and everything. <laughs> Who took off your wig? I should have put mine on. <laughs> Wait, was that not a joke? I thought that was a joke. Um, well, it was so nice meeting you. If you ever need anything, I am on the fifth floor, so don't be a stranger, neighbor. Okay, bye. When men can't take a hint, part two. Yes, I see the balloons. Okay, I'm walking back right now. Hey, Barbie, you got a boyfriend? Just keep walking, just keep walking, walking, walk. Barbie, I said, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have Ken. No, I saw your movie and you don't Ken, so it looks like now I can be your boy toy. <laughs> you are so funny. And just like Ken, you will sleep alone tonight. The whole point of your movie is that you Barbies disrespect us Kens and need to give us more respect because we deserve it. Really? Well, we must have watched two very different movies because I can recall Barbie not liking it when weird and strange random men kept hitting on her. However, I didn't like it anyway, my wife made me watch it. Let me know down below what you would say in a situation like this. And all you're ever gonna be is mean. Why you gotta be so mean? Taylor, can I sing Barbie Girl into the microphone now? Oh yeah, totally. Um, parents, do you want the kid-friendly version, the you can brush my hair and take me anywhere one? Yeah, sure. All right. I don't know this one. It's because she only knows the one from TikTok with Nicki Minaj. She's taking forever to pick a song, so just do the clean version of that one. Um, there, there is no clean version. Honestly, they know the words, they can just sing it. Tay, bring the Bob Dylan out, that put the cold, we just chilling out. Yelling, yelling, yeah, yelling out. It's Barbie, bitch, you're still in doubt. I am honestly very impressed. <laughs> can I sing a Travis Scott song now? Travis Scott? What, isn't he dating Taylor Swift? No, um, it's Travis Kelsey. Different Travis. Times I Had to Lie to Kids, part 29. Princess Brooke, we were playing keepy uppy and our balloon got stuck in the leaves. Oh no, can you show me where it is? Mm-hmm, it was there. No wait, I mean there. Oh, I'm sorry. Your mom said that there's poison ivy over there and that we shouldn't go over there, but we can get you a new balloon. No, I wanted that one. Can you just put on like a poison ivy suit? That is such a good idea. Ugh, if only I didn't leave my poison ivy suit back at my castle. I'm sorry. 
I guess it's okay. Should we go get you a new balloon now? <gasps> I can get a new one? Why didn't you just say so? Come on. When Adults Unknowingly Ruin the Magic, Part 10. Elsa, I have a question for you. Oh, of course. What's your question? Why? Hey, Elsa. Stacy, you already had your turn with Elsa. It's Olivia's turn now. But I have another question I need to ask her. Okay, what do you want to know? I want to know where she is right now. Oh, Elsa's in New Jersey. You're in New Jersey? Um, <laughs> well. But why aren't you in Arendelle or Disney? It is October right now, and soon it will be November. So I am visiting each state and am starting to sprinkle my snow magic just a little bit so that by the time the winter comes, it'll snow for you. Oh, well, when do you think you're going to come to our state? Well, I, I don't know yet. I'm very, very busy with all the states, but I'll get back to you. Um, okay, next question for me and not your teacher. Guess the character one, the time a kid thought I was on drugs. Okay, friends, do you have any more questions before Sparkles and I have to leave? Ooh, ooh, me, me. Oh, yay, what's your question? Is it about our movie or our favorite color? No, my mom said that you're on drugs. What? Hey, mom, didn't you say that the princess was on drugs? No, no, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My husband and I were just talking one night about your character in the movie. Oh, yeah, okay, makes sense now. <laughs> Guess we need to be more careful what we say around her. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> like all my videos during the SAG strike, I was not actually Princess Brooke, so can you guess below what character I actually was? When a kid compared Rapunzel to Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Yeah, you heard that right. Rapunzel, you remind me of someone. Oh, I do? Who is it? Let me guess. Um, is it Ariel? Or maybe Elsa, because we both have power? No, it's that gypsy girl. She's famous now. Oh! Your mom locked you in a tower, and her mom kept her locked up too. Well, you're not wrong. Um, but how do you know about all of that? My mom has her on the TV. You're both on the TV. Oh. You guys have one other thing in common too. <laughs> And what's that? Well, in the movie, you... Mother Gothel? And... Wow, um, you know what? I'm missing Pascal. Have you seen him? Do you want to help me find him? <laughs> you know, somehow I think it actually could have been worse. I'm just glad she didn't bring up the Instagram comment. Have you seen it? The time kids stole my wallet. All right, birthday girl, would you like to sing? Yeah! All right, I'll get my music started. Wait, if you're Elsa, then why do you have a phone? Well, the phone helps me play music, and it helps me keep in touch with my sister while I'm all the way in your kingdom, and she's still in Arendelle. Whatever. The cold never bothered me anyway. Elsa, the older kids are talking downstairs, and they say they want to steal your phone. Oh, <laughs> thank you for letting me know. I am going to zip this in my bag now. Elsa, can you come take a photo with the birthday girl by the tree? Absolutely, I'll be right there. Okay, everyone, it's time for me to grab my things and go. Hey, Elsa, I think you left your wallet on the couch. <laughs> really? That's weird, because I never took my wallet out of my bag. Um, are you sure? <laughs> yes. Um, it was her. What? She no, it wasn't it. me. What you did was not a very nice thing to do, and I hope that you don't do it again in the future. Have a nice night. I have dealt with older kids trying to ruin the magic for, but I've never had them try to go into my personal belongings. That just like crosses a big line for me. So I did end up telling the parents of the birthday girl just because I think they saw Elsa getting a little sassy with the older kids and I wanted to explain. But let me know down below how you would have handled this situation about... The time I grabbed the Ron Animal Sidekick Part 3. Is forking Animal Sidekick though? All right, are you ready to meet Pascal? Yes, I love Pascal. Perfect, let me just, um, grab him. <laughs> and here's, oh, Forky, Forky. Where's Forky? Um, why do you have Forky? We are actually really close. Um, no, you're not. If we weren't close, would we be able to do this? 
Uh huh. See? Oh. Um, I guess not. And look, I found Pascal. Now we can all be friends. Maybe. Let me know down below if you like Forky or if you like Pascal better. And there's no wrong answer. Actually, there is. Choose wisely. Okay, so the strike is still going on, so if I post this, it won't be until the SAG strike is over. Um, but I dog sat this dog last year. Her name was Sophie, and she's fine with me. But I went to change into an aerial costume last year because I had an aerial party, and she started freaking out when I came down the stairs. She had no idea who I was anymore. Um, so I have to take her out, and I just got done an aerial party, so I'm going to see if she's still scared of aerial. Oh, she's freaking out. She doesn't normally do this when I come in, so this is not a good sign already. Sophie, it's just me. Come here. See, girly, it's just me. It's just me. It's okay. She does not like this costume. Do I look good? She is not normally like this. I guess Ariel is scary for some dogs. What I do when I forget a kid's name. Okay, everyone, you can go find Sparkles now. Psst, hey, you. The kid in the blue shirt with brown hair, about this tall. Is his name Philip? Uh, yeah. I found Sparkles. Hey, Princess Brooke, do you remember me? Oh, of course I do. It's so nice to see you again, Prince Bill. It's Bill. Yes, of course. That's what I said. I just had a little something in my throat. Oh, okay. The time I thought an older sibling was going to blow my cover. Hey, Elsa, I have something to tell you. What? I recognize you from online. You do? I've watched your videos on shorts. Um, <laughs> which ones have you seen? It's a silly one where they put, like, a man's face on your head. Oh. <laughs> yes, those videos are very silly. Do you think Olaf or my sister made them? Definitely Anna. I can't believe she did that. I'm going to have to talk to her after this call. Thank you for letting me know. Times I Had to Lie to Kids, Part 24, Ask Tinkerbell. Okay, so for context real quick, in 2020 at the height of the pandemic is when I first started doing Tinkerbell calls and I had like a costume that I made myself with wings I made myself and the only way that the wings could stay up is if they were attached to my seat and not my actual body. Tinkerbell, let's dance. Yes, I'd love to dance. That would be flitterific. Come on, Tinkerbell, stand up. Dance with me. Oh, I'm fine with, with dancing like this right here. Why won't you stand and dance? Oh, well, I'm so tiny that if I got up to dance, the camera wouldn't be able to see me anymore. I have to be right in front of it in order for it to focus on me. Oh, okay. Great, let's keep dancing. A confusing conversation I've had now that there is a new Little Mermaid. Ariel, you have a new movie. I know, isn't it amazing that they're making a new movie about me? Yeah, I watched it, your new movie. You have? <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe she's just referring to the trailer? Yeah, did you know that you have a daughter named Melody? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, I do have a daughter named Melody. I'm going to have to remember from now on that just because a kid is talking about a new movie for them, that might be like The Little Mermaid 2, or I believe there's The Little Mermaid 3, that's a prequel. So let me know down below, have you seen all of The Little Mermaid movies and which one is your- When a kid told me my boyfriend is ugly. Princess Brooke, can we see a photo of your prince? Oh no, I think we should be celebrating the birthday girl and having fun. Please, 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 please. Okay, I will if you stop. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's a cutie. Good for you, Princess Brooke. That's perfect for you. Thank you. All right, let's go play a game now. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone, did we find the unicorn yet? <gasps> Princess Brooke, can I see a picture of your prince again? No, remember, I already showed you. Now it's please, 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 please. Ta-da! Mm. What? What does that mean? You know. No, I don't. <laughs> he's just, he's kind of ugly. 
But you said he was cute like 10 minutes ago. People can change their minds, Princess Brooke. Mm -hmm. I'm changing my mind about you right now, kid. Oh, I don't think we have to do that right The time kids thought I brought Brozone to the party. All right, everyone. I have a very special friend in this bag. <gasps> Guys, Poppy brought someone else. <gasps> Is it Branch? Uh, no, it's... <gasps> it's John Dory. No. Clay. Floyd? <laughs> it's not... Spruce? No, but it's someone even better. <laughs> someone better than Broso. <gasps> oh my gosh, you brought velvet. Don't say velvet and veneer. Aww. It sparkles. Ta-da. <laughs> sparkles? Who sparkles? We wanted Brozone. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to pull all of Brozone out of my bag? Well, trolls are supposed to be tiny. Got me there. <laughs> if you could have one member of Brozone at your party, which one would you have? Let me know below. The crappiest party I've ever been to? Literally. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Are you kidding me right now? This is not happening. Princess Brooke, what was that? Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone was just really happy. <laughs> So, their sewage pipes under the basement exploded and the whole basement is flooding right now. Oh, like... Yeah, like literal beep is everywhere. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, would you like me to... Just keep the kids entertained and make sure that none of them go into the basement. No problem, I've got it. Okay, everyone, who wants to listen to a story? No, I want to go to the basement. Uh, no, 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 we can't go down there right now. Is there a surprise? I mean, yeah, I guess it's technically a surprise. Yay, I love surprises. Great. When Barbie finds out, she didn't get an Oscar nomination. Oh, hey, Barbie. Did you hear that the Oscar nominations came out? Oh, my goodness. I've been nominated? Oh, um, no. But Ken got nominated. Ken? Just Ken? Oh, yeah, his song got nominated, too. How did you know that? That's great! Um, what about our director then? Because she made a movie that showed it how hard it is for women because everyone always expects us to be strong and capable, but at the same time, her movie did show us that we are strong and capable and beautiful and so much more, and that deserves a lot of recognition. No. <laughs> did the Academy watch our movie? <laughs> Barbie, are you, are you crying? No. I already wrote my acceptance speech, okay? <laughs> this says, I worked hard and I deserve it. Exactly! <laughs> All jokes aside, I think that Marco and Greta did an amazing job with this movie and that they definitely deserved nominations. I think that Ryan and America, they deserve their nominations too, but not giving Greta or Margo one just kind of like defeats the whole purpose of the movie. I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are down below. When kids at the party know about the Lizzo lawsuit. Okay, everyone, now that we're all here to celebrate Maddie's fifth birthday, I was thinking we should sing a song. Does anyone have any suggestions? Can we do that new Lizzo song? It's about my favorite color. No, we can't. Why not? Ooh, um, well, um, there was something about a banana and she made people eat banana. Uh, she was, she was not very nice to some of the people who worked for her. Yeah, and my sister said that she's not feeling good as hell anymore. Wow, okay, um, let's get back to that scene. Maybe we could do Taylor Swift or Katy Perry, and I really hope that they're still safe. I was very shocked to hear about this lawsuit, and obviously the word of these allegations are spreading very quickly, uh, but I was pretty shocked to hear this. What about you? Let me know your thoughts below. So all I want is to go to one party this week where a kid has no idea about all these celebrities, please. When kids asked me to sing Yes And by Ariana Grande. Okay, friends, would we like to sing A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes Now? Mm. Oh, let's sing that new Ariana Grande song. Is she talking about Yes And? That's not very appropriate. Okay, pretend we don't know it. I'm sorry, I don't know that one. Oh, that's okay, I'll sing it for you. Your business is yours and mine is mine. Why do you care so much who's dick? Horse! What? 
whose horse I ride is the version in my kingdom. I just remembered it. Ooh, what is it? Yes, and make a wish with your chest, and let my be your own best. Friend, lose your shoe down the steps, keep moving like what's next, yes, and... Cool, can we do thank you next now? Thank you, next, thank you, next. I'm so stinking grateful for my stepsisters. What if I ruined the birthday cake? Welcome back to What If, the series where you ask me about things I'd never do, and I tell you what I do if they happen. Happy birthday, sweetie, make a wish. Princess Brooke, can you please make a magic spell on my cupcake? Happy birthday to you. May all your wishes come true. No! You broke my cupcake. Oh, no, no, no. See, what happened was I could tell that an evil witch put a curse on that cupcake and I was protecting you. I didn't want you to eat it. Oh, thank you for saving me. Well, of course. And do you have other cupcakes, right? Because I heard all those ones are okay. Listen, I know you were expecting a full cake, but I don't even think I could get away with that. At that point, that child's birthday is ruined. When someone asked me to play Asha from Disney's Wish. Bye, everyone. I had the best day ever with you. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, do you have a card? Oh, yeah, of course. Here. Thank you, this is perfect. Um, my daughter's turning five next month and she's like obsessed with that new princess from Wish. Oh, that is so sweet, but I'm a one woman company and- Oh yeah, that's great. We want you to play her. You were amazing. That is so nice, um, but I can't play Asha. Oh my gosh, you could totally do it. I mean, you already have a purple dress. <laughs> well, um, I believe in portraying characters that I can only accurately and respectfully represent representation is just really important especially to little girls yeah that's why i want my daughter to have an asha that looks just like her um is your daughter that little blonde girl over there yeah she's cute um she has about 10 other disney princesses that look exactly like her and the little girls who look like asha don't have as many choices i think i'll just reach out to someone else who can give us what we want <laughs> okay good luck with that I have had this conversation with people so many times in the past few years, especially with Encanto characters. Uh, parents love to be like, oh, well, Peppa is pretty pale, so can't you just play her? After I explain why I only want to accurately and respectfully play certain characters. And I just think it's crazy. I just don't get why people don't understand that representation is really important. I, that's all. I don't know. Get a tattoo from Princess Brooke. Hi there, I'm Princess Brooke. What's your name? That's a beautiful name. Would you like a tattoo? You would? All right, take a seat right here and I want you to hold on to my very best friend Sparkles. She always makes me feel very brave. Perfect. Now I'm gonna show you a few options. I have a flower and I have a butterfly. Which one would you like? The flower? All right. I'm gonna use some of my magic fairy water. I'm just gonna wet this paper towel and I'm gonna peel this off right here and put it on your hand and press down. You're doing so good, you've got it. And it looks beautiful, you're all done, thank you. The time there was a party crasher. Yeah, there are so many dresses to choose from. Hi! Did you know that I used to teach and I, uh, I would dress up like a mermaid for my students and I have a picture here to show you. Oh, wow! That is so fantastic! Thank you for showing me that! <laughs> Do you dress up like a mermaid a lot? Are you an actress? Yes! Well, you know, my sisters and I, we, we love to perform together. <laughs> Do you want my help getting the kids dressed? I can help dress them up for you. Oh, no, I don't. Um, sweetie, can you do me a favor? Can you go get some sparkly shoes? Thank you. Uh, hi, ma'am. Are you a family member of one of the children at this event today? No, I just want to watch all the kids. So sorry, this is a private event, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave, but let's come this way and we'll help you, okay? Bye, mermaid. Bye. Have a fantastic day. So this was an event that I did in New York with a place that's like a dress-up store for little girls, and... I don't know if she knew about the event and just decided to come to it and that's why she had a picture 
um, or if she just happens to carry around that picture all the time and loves Mermaid. She was very sweet. I'm not sure if she was homeless or lost or confused. And I'm not saying she was dangerous at all, but you know, we have to keep the kids safe. It's a private event, so we had to ask her to leave. But let me know what you think about this. It's when a mom was complaining to me about other kids at the party. Okay, everyone, you can start to work on your coloring pages and I'll start to set up our story. Ah, uh, I don't know how you do it. Um, what do you mean? It's just some of the kids at this party are crazy and it's the parents' fault. Uh, yeah. Hey, what are you doing over there? You don't draw good. You know that child's parent? Who? You want it? You can have it. You want it? Oh, no, she's mine. She's just like that sometimes. Sweetie, what did we talk about? Smile more. She's so cute. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, some people just really don't know how to be a parent and they don't correct their children and that's like really embarrassing for them. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Times I had to lie to kids, part 29? I don't know, I can't keep track. Elsa, where are you right now? That is a great question. I am in the Enchanted Forest and my sister is still in Arendelle and that's why you can't see her right now. Oh, you're in the Enchanted Forest? Mm-hmm. Then why is there a piece of paper behind you? I can see it all crinkled. Oh, um, that's because this is actually a blanket that my sister gave me for Christmas, which you know was yesterday, and I decided to use it as a backdrop for our call today. Do you like it? Yeah, but I have another question. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why do you have a ring on your finger? <laughs> that is because my sister, she is so sweet. When she got engaged to Kristoff, she didn't want me to feel left out, so she got me a little friendship ring. Do you like it? Oh, yeah, cool. <sighs> I'm very glad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, right before this call, I did think to myself, should I take my ring off? And then I was like, nah, they won't notice, but they did. So do you think that was a good excuse? Cause I was actually kind of proud of that one, not gonna lie. The time a kid threatened me, woo. Okay, everyone, while you are busy eating your cake and your ice cream, I'm gonna set up a few things, go to the bathroom real quick, and I'll be right back. Princess Brooke? Oh, um, hi, what are you doing here? I thought I could join you in the bathroom. No, I'm so sorry, you have to go back outside. I have to be alone. I hate you! Hey friend, I know that you're a little bit upset because you couldn't go into the bathroom with me and I just wanted to talk to you about it and make sure that we're all good. We're good. That's great because I just really want to have fun because I'm going to cut your eyeballs out of your head. What? <laughs> I'm going to cut your eyeballs out of your head, chop them up, and then flush it down the toilet. Okay, and that is my cue to leave and get your parents. They'll be right back, okay. Then I got the parents and it was pretty much time for me to leave the party anyway. And that was that. The time a kid told me he peed his pants. Thank you so much for seeing me. All right, who's next? Hi, Elsa. <laughs> Hi, Elsa. Hello. I think that my friend Brooke knows the two of you. I think you come see her at the children's show in the mall sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much. This one time we went to the mall and we went into a store and then I peed my pants. <laughs> um, wow. Wow, thank you for telling me that. Oh my gosh, buddy, you can't just go around telling people that. You know, sometimes silly things like that can happen. Like, um, yesterday I was going to another event wearing the same exact dress and I slipped in the ice and I fell right on my butt. Wow. Well, I peed my pants. All right. Well, would you like a cookie now? Yeah? I think you might be my favorite guest of the day. Because I know the sister does watch my videos, I do want to say that genuinely was one of my favorite moments from that day. Not because it's a goofy story, but because that was a two-hour event of just constantly meeting kids one after the other. All of them were sweet, all of them were great, but I was starting to get like tired and that um, that moment just like, I don't know, woke me up, made me laugh and I appreciated it. The time a song saved a party. All right, birthday girl, are you ready to sing? No. Why not? I heard that you love to sing. My sister and her friend said I was too old to like mermaids. 
This is so lame, right? Well, do you want to know what I think? If I were a fish and you caught me, you'd say, Look at that fish. Shimmering in the sun. Such a rare one. Can't believe that you caught one. Why is everybody on the internet so mean? Why is everybody so afraid of what they've never seen? If I was scrolling through and I saw me, I'd say damn. Wow. Oops. <laughs> They're cute and sing along. Feel better about liking mermaids now? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Fantastic. The crappiest party I've ever been to, part two. Okay, what you missed on last week's episode is that I was once at a birthday party, the pipes under the basement flooded and poop was everywhere, and I was in charge of keeping the kids out of there. Okay, part two. This is Brooke, I have to go potty. All right, well, uh, where's the bathroom? Our upstairs one is broken, so the only one that works is the basement one. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, um, so some of the kids- I really gotta go. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Okay, so like all of the kids need to use the restroom. There's a gym at the complex next door. You can take them all there to go. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> okay, everyone, when we get to this gym, we're going to be respectful, polite, and quiet. Understood? Yeah. <gasps> Princess Brooke, they have men with big arms here. Yes, I see. But this is not how I saw my day going. <laughs> the time Barbie left her car lights on. Oops. It's time for the show. Barbie and Teresa can be ballerinas. The end. Uh, hey parents, uh, does anyone here have like a small orange car with white and pink flowers? Ooh, um, <laughs> that's my car. Oh, okay, yeah, that, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, your lights are on. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay, everyone, I will be right back. See, I told you guys she wasn't the real Barbie because the real Barbie wouldn't do that. I don't know why she's trying to use my car to prove I'm fake, but okay, I guess I'll take the challenge. Well, you're right. Yes. In Barbie world, I never did this because all the cars are made of plastic and they don't have any lights, but I'm still getting used to the real world and real cars. Uh, well, she said your car was orange. I thought you were supposed to have a pink one. I do. I'm Barbie. I have a pink one and an orange one and a blue one, all different colors to match all of my different outfits and accessories. Yeah, to match, but you are wearing pink and the car is orange. Mm -hmm. He also said that it has pink and white flowers. Now, if you can excuse me, I need to go turn off the lights to the car that I match.